Hey everyone, this is Kiri with the blog healthfullyroodedhome.com where I talk about clean cooking, non-toxic living, and an organized home. And today I'm going to talk to you about my winter capsule wardrobe and just the simple steps you need to take to create your own winter capsule wardrobe. So first step to creating your, any capsule wardrobe for that matter, is finding inspiration. And so the way that I find inspiration for how I want that season's wardrobe to look is Pinterest. I love going on Pinterest and I'll type in just the kind of style that I think that I want. So, you know, cozy winter wardrobe or laid back winter wardrobe on Pinterest. And then I'll just create a board named winter capsule wardrobe. And then I'll just start pinning the outfit ideas that I like or different articles of clothing. You'll see a lot on Pinterest that have like the basics that you need in your capsule wardrobe. So I'll just start pinning that all to my winter capsule wardrobe board on Pinterest. The next step is I find a particular brand that I really enjoy and that I feel like totally fits my style and I will find them on Instagram. And then most of the time these brands have lots of images on their Instagram of different ways to wear their pieces. So for example, I'm really falling in love with this new, well, new to me brand. It's called New Flora. That's actually where I got this shirt. And this isn't sponsored by them, by the way. I went to their Instagram and I just started scrolling through, looking at all of their different outfit ideas, how they combine their different pieces from different collections, or I'll even find them directly on Pinterest. Typically brands will have a Pinterest account that you can go look at. And so, you know, for, in this case, I went to new Flora's Pinterest, and then I started pinning their uh, collections that I really liked to my winter capsule wardrobe Pinterest board. And I'm constantly going into that Pinterest board throughout the season to find outfit ideas because as soon as I create my capsule wardrobe, I totally forget what outfit ideas I had in mind. And I usually just end up wearing the same thing every single day. It's like my costume that I wear every single day. And so if I'm going somewhere though, or if I'm doing something where I wanna look a little more cute and put together, then I will actually go to my Pinterest board and I will look at some outfit ideas and I'll, I'll be like, oh my gosh, that I totally forgot. I wanted to pair this sweater with this dress. I'm going to do that. And just by doing that, you give yourself so many more options without having to have a ton of articles of clothing. So first step, find inspiration. So the second step is to use what you already have for your capsule wardrobe. So go through your closet and find pieces that you already have that match your inspiration images. So I'm sure you probably have a lot more than you think that's already in your closet that can totally work for some of your inspiration images. So use other seasons. Don't be scared to kind of step outside of your comfort zone and wear what would typically be a summer dress in the winter by putting some long boots with it and a cozy cardigan or sweater. And just pair things that you wouldn't typically pair together. Pair them together in the winter. Use things as a first, second, and third layer. So go through your drawers, go through your closet and think, what layer could I use this for, right? Because in winter, you have to wear probably at least three layers. And think about what you could wear for as a first, second or third layer. 
So could this be your base layer? Could this be your top layer? Things like that. So second thing, go through what you already have and use that. For winter, when it comes to accessories, use functional accessories. Functional accessories could look like, you know, big cozy scarves, really pretty gloves, things like that. Okay, and then your third step is to declutter. So once you've ga gathered some of the articles of clothing in your second step that you already have that go with the style that you're going for for this season, then go through not just that season's clothes, so not just winter, but go through your summer clothes, go through your fall clothes, go through your entire wardrobe and declutter. I have a set of five criteria that I go through when I'm decluttering my closet and it's kind of like a workflow. So I just go, you know, one, two, three, four, five. And so I'll tell you what that is right now. So I look at the condition of the item. Is it in poor shape? Are there rips, tears, stains that are set in and I just can't get out? That's an immediate, I donate or, you know, trash if it's beyond repair. If it's still in good shape, then I'll move on to the next um, set of criteria, which is how often do I wear it? So am I wearing this article of clothing every day, you know, or every few days, or, you know, is it something that withstands each season? I really do try and have clothing that can go through all the different seasons. So how often am I wearing it? Has it been an entire year and I haven't even looked at it? Or is it something that I do wear and then I regret it when I put it on because I'm like, oh yeah, it does this weird thing um, or it looks weird in this area. If that's the case, then I'll donate it. If not, if it is something that I, I wear pretty frequently, then I'll move on to the next set of criteria. And that is, does it fit? <laughs> If it doesn't fit, that's an immediate, it's gotta go. I know that a lot of people keep clothing that doesn't fit, sometimes maybe as a motivation, sometimes it's sentimental. Um, I really try not to do that because it just adds to clutter and I'm all about decluttering. So that's an immediate donate for me. If it does fit, then I move on to the next step, which is do I have closet space for it? I am so blessed. I have a huge closet and I have tons of drawer space. So I typically don't have an issue with that. So I can usually move on to the next step there. But you know, let's say you are really cramped for space and you really need to pare down your wardrobe due to a lack of space. Then, you know, take a good hard look at that piece of clothing and say, you know, is this piece of clothing serving me right now in this season of my life? And is it something that, you know, matches the aesthetic that I'm going for? If it does, go to the last step. How does it make you feel? In particular, how does it make you feel when you're wearing it? Do you feel really good? Do you feel confident? Do you feel comfortable? Or is it pinching you in areas that you don't want it to pinch you? Or, um, you know, do you just feel good when you wear it? Does it, is it a piece of clothing that you're excited to put on? If not, then get rid of it. If it does, then keep it. So that's the workflow that I go through when I am looking at clothing. And typically, to be honest, I don't have to go through all of those steps in my head. I typically know, yeah, I need to get rid of this or nope, this is staying. But if I'm really torn on an item, then I will go through those steps. Okay, so that was number three, decluttering your closet. I actually decluttered my closet for my fall capsule wardrobe, and I have the video for that right here. And the fall capsule wardrobe, I give you a lot of different outfit ideas, and I kind of go through and I think I show like almost every single outfit idea that I have for my wardrobe. So you can go check that video out. There's a lot of overlap 
for my fall capsule wardrobe and my winter capsule wardrobe because I live in Washington state and so we have pretty mild seasons. We do have all four seasons, but to be honest, they're pretty mild. So um, my fall and winter wardrobes can really overlap. But for my winter wardrobe, I did have some specific things that I wanted to incorporate. There was something about my fall wardrobe that I wasn't too fond of, and that was that nothing seemed very feminine. Like I, I had a couple, you know, pretty feminine outfits, but I wanted to kind of feminize my wardrobe a little bit more. And so those were a couple of the gaps that I wanted to fill for my winter wardrobe. So I found New Flora, which is that brand that I love, and I found things like this, and I found articles of clothing that just had nice texture to them and you know like these ruffled sleeves and things like that actually that brand is perfect for a capsule wardrobe because they have pieces that give so much character and add so much femininity into your wardrobe without using a ton of bold colors which when you're building a capsule wardrobe you're really trying to stay away from those bold colors you really just want like neutral colors but you can still have something that looks totally unique um if you find an article of clothing that really takes advantage of fabric texture so that's what i those were some of the gaps that i wanted to fill for my winter capsule wardrobe which is a great lead-in for step four which is fill in any gaps so you really want with a capsule wardrobe quality over quantity the whole idea of a capsule wardrobe is to minimize on clutter you're finding pieces that are high quality so that you know it's something that you could wear every other day or every day and then i just talked about color palette consistency that's super crucial with a capsule wardrobe because if you have something that's a really funky color you're not going to be able to wear it with a lot now i would say the one exception is that for me and my capsule wardrobe i do typically like to have a couple different fun seasonal pieces just to kind of add that little bit of fun spice to the season because there is something fun about a new season and really dressing for the season so i do have a couple pieces that are a little bit more seasonal and then the last thing with this step which is you know filling in gaps is just make sure that it matches your inspiration so if you are you know shopping because you are trying to fill in some gaps in your winter capsule wardrobe then you know just make sure that you go back to your inspiration and you remind yourself of the kind of look that you're going for and really make sure that that look stands the test of time because a capsule wardrobe is not something that you want to have to completely revamp every single season or every single year. You want it to withstand the test of time. So buy timeless pieces. And to do that, just use all the tips that I gave you before. But other than filling in, you know, just a couple gaps every year or each season, or maybe getting a couple fun seasonal pieces each season, um, you're really not shopping for a lot of clothes when you have a capsule wardrobe, which is the whole idea and the benefit of having a capsule wardrobe. So you guys, I hope that this helped you with creating your winter capsule wardrobe. If you have any questions, I would love for you to leave a comment below. And thanks so much for watching. My name is Kiri and I'm with the blog healthfullyrootedhome.com and I talk about clean cooking, non-toxic living, and an organized home. Thanks so much.